Jellied eels are a traditional English dish that originated in the 18th century, primarily in the East End of London. The dish consists of chopped eels boiled in a spiced stock that is allowed to cool and set, forming a jelly. It is eaten cold. History The eel was a cheap, nutritious and readily available food source for the people of London. European eels were once so common in the Thames that nets were set as far upriver as London itself, and eels became a staple for London's poor. The earliest known eel, pie and mash houses opened in London in the 18th century, and the oldest surviving shop, M. Mans, has been opened since 1902. At the end of the Second World War there were around 100 eel, pie and mash houses in London, in 1995 there were 87. The water quality of the Thames has improved since the 1960s and is now suitable for recolonization by eels. The Environment Agency supports a Thames fishery, allowing nets as far upriver as Tower Bridge. Preparation The dish is traditionally prepared using the freshwater eels native to Britain. Typically, the eels are chopped, chucked, into rounds and boiled in water and vinegar, to make a fish stock, with nutmeg and lemon juice before being allowed to cool. The eel is a naturally gelatinous fish so the cooking process releases proteins, like collagen, into the liquid which solidify on cooling to form a jelly, though gelatin may be added in order to aid this process. Recipes for jellied eels are individual to particular London pie and mash shops, and also street sellers, however, traditional recipes for authentic Victorian jellied eels all have common ingredients and cooking methods. What varies is the choice of herbs and spices used to flavor the dish. Jellied eels are often sold with pie and mash, another traditional East End food, and eaten with chili vinegar or with malt vinegar and white pepper. Outside the UK In Denmark the dish is known as al igel, in France as aspic danjul, in Germany as aal in aspic, and in Poland as wegosh w galarasi, all terms mean jellied eel. In popular culture in the sitcom Only Fools and Horses, jellied eels are often referred to as Alan Perry father of Cassandra's favorite food. Also, Del Boy and Jumbo Mills ran a jellied eel shop in the 60s called Eels on Wheels. In the 2012 game Dishonored, a product called Pratchett Jellied Eels appears as a food staple in the game's 19th century-esque fictional universe. The character Owen Harper on the BBC show Torchwood pretends to be a jellied eel magnate while undercover in the series 1 episode, Combat. Jack Johnson, a black early 20th century heavyweight boxing champion, notoriously defied taboos by consorting with white women, among other behaviors. Asked the secret of his staying power by a reporter who had watched a succession of women parade into, and out of, the champion. S hotel room, Johnson supposedly said, eat jellied eels and think distant thoughts, in Neil Gaiman's novel Stardust, the character Quintus died after eating jellied eels that had been poisoned by his youngest brother Septimus. In The Mighty Boosh the mysterious Cockney Hitcher discusses and sings a song about eels, presumably jellied eels, as he refers to eating them for free at an East London pie and mash shop. In P.G. Woodhouse's Jeeves and Wooster novels and Blanding's Castle novels, set in the early 20th century, the narrator sometimes refers to jellied eel sellers in a manner which implies the typical jellied eel seller is a disreputable fellow, but without further explanation. In the television series Agatha Christie's Poirot, in the episode The Mystery of the Spanish Chest, Season 3, Episode 8, Poirot dispatches Captain Hastings to the military club, where Hastings makes inquiries of a young staff boy who is eating food purchased from a London street vendor that sells jellied eel. See also Jokepion References Further reading http colon slash slash www.bbc.co.uk slash dina slash h2g2 slash a8573132 background
https colon slash slash www.theguardian.com slash netnotes slash article slash o comma six seven two nine comma six eight oh nine four eight comma o dot html jellied eel story at the guardian the eighth of april two thousand two would you Adam and Eve it? Jellied eels hit by overfishing London Evening Standard, 3 January 2012. External links http colon slash slash www.pi dash and dash mash dot com website dedicated to an appreciation of pie, mash and eels http colon slash slash barneys seafoodcouk the website of Barney's Seafood with links to their eels and stories about East End food culture and social history. Jellied Eel is also the name of the quarterly magazine of London Food Link, the network for food businesses, writers and campaigners promoting healthy and sustainable food in London, UK on the website of Sustain, the Alliance for Better Food and Farming.